Hey, what's up? Welcome to Degen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of Clean Spark, ticker symbol CLSK. And so here, looking at Clean Spark, I had done some analysis on this earlier, uh, which is why there are the lines here. That analysis was largely based on looking at Mara and just kind of interpreting that chart and relaying it to other miners, uh, just because they all kind of behave the same, but there are subtle differences. And one of those things is earnings. And so part of the reason why I wanted to go over Clean Spark at the start of the stream is because earnings are on February 8th. I believe that is coming up on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I believe Thursday. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to go over the chart, uh, see what we're looking at here. Does look like we got like a little bit of a double top up here around 1360 Previous high was 1391 over here, the end of March 2022. And it does look like uh, we got a uh, high here uh, around uh, December 27th, hitting a high of 1356. And so, you know, where do I see price going before earnings? Uh, that's going to be a little tricky. You know, I, I feel like earnings are always tough to predict, whether they go up, down, or sideways. Um, and especially with uh, mining, uh, Bitcoin mining companies, because, uh, you know, I think a lot of it relates to what Bitcoin price is doing. Uh, but I'm not going to look at that at all for this. I'm just going to look at the chart here. And so from my previous analysis, uh, you can see these uh, two lines here that might be uh, important for earnings. One to the upside, which I think was a gap fill. I usually, no, um, I usually do blue lines for gap fills but not here. And so this 1063 does look like it's potential target to the upside and 734 to the downside. Also, it does look like there was a gap here uh, that could be filled. And so the high on January 25th was 739, quite possible that could be filled. But, uh, you know, I think that one way that we can get an idea of where this might be going is by doing Fibonacci retracements. I have been doing a good amount of those on the channel lately. I just feel like they're really useful tools. Um, and let's see, I'm just going to do this kind of mock one uh, because I don't have all of the levels marked. So I'm just going to add all those in. I like to do the 1618 extension. It's kind of nice. But yeah, so I'm just going to do a Fibonacci retracement from the top here at uh, 1356. Try to get it just right, right there, okay. And then down to the low here, uh, which was 641. So let's see if I can get that just right. Um, let's see. I'm going to be, I'm going to be a penny off no matter what. It's all right. I can adjust that over here real quick. And uh, yeah, so uh, we got that retracement. And so because this is coming from the top to the bottom, this is going to indicate levels to the upside that might act as resistance or potential levels of support, you know, once rejected. And so it does look like the 382 acted as resistance at a price of right around $9.14, uh, and then pulling back to the 236 at a price of 10, sorry, $8.10. Uh, so it does look like price is hanging out in there. This could be a bull flag formation, uh, but you know I have a tough time identifying those, distinguishing them between bear flags. Uh, whether they break to the upside or downside it could be a pretty big question here with earnings coming up. And uh, yeah, so I do think that uh, really, you know, if before earnings, uh, if price is still hanging out around here, I do think there could be an attempt at $9.14 again. Uh, but if there is an attempt before earnings and uh, we don't break through that level, that could be a double top. That would be somewhat fairly bearish, actually, not somewhat. And I would expect to pull back before earnings, or sorry, following earnings. Uh, but if we see price around here, if it does seem to be respecting this uh, 236 level, uh, we could, uh, following earnings, see a test of that uh, price of uh, $9.14. Also, really just, you know, $9 round number being a uh, psychological level there, you know, just around dollar numbers. Uh, but again, you know, I do feel that 734 to the downside, especially with that gap there, uh, could be where price is going following earnings. Um, and it would be really nice, actually, if that got filled before earnings, 
you know, there'd be not too much pulling it down, so maybe it moved to the upside. Uh, but so I've got that retracement there. I'm also going to do one going to the upside, and that should give uh, levels to the downside that might uh, uh, be of some significance. So I'm just going to try to line this up just right. It's going to be a penny off again. So the high here, uh, let's see, 924. So let's see if I can get that. Both of them are off. Uh, so this is a one and a four. All right, and so looking at that retracement, uh, coming to the downside does look like the 50% has acted as support with this hammer candle here, wick coming down. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, right around where that gap is, actually exactly where that gap is, the 618 is at a price of $7.49. And I actually uh, could see, you know, just $7.50 acting as a, kind of a target for a price to be going around earnings. So um, yeah, I, I do think that um, if it is to go up during earnings, it would really have to, uh, it would be nice to get a close above the $9.24 mark, the previous high here. That could suggest continuation higher to go to 10.63, but that could also just be a fake out. Seen it a, a number of times in uh, making videos here. Sometimes you get a signal that looks like, oh, there's a continuation uh, to the upside, but really you need to see another close above that level, two closes to confirm that breakout before continuing higher. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I think that with earnings coming up, price might just hang out at this level uh, right around $8.16, uh, kind of a little bit of indecision before earnings, uh, before making the move, you know, after whether that's to buy or sell. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty tough to uh, predict uh, what's going on around earnings. But those are my thoughts on Clean Spark. If you found them helpful, make sure you like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching, and thanks for the request.